Amazing. How are we doing today, guys? Sam and Ryan back with this week's fishing report for you guys. It's full on summertime out here. There's a lot of good stuff to get into. Your typical summer patterns for rockfish, targeting the mouths of the rivers. And really, this is the time of the year where you can start to do many different tactics, whether you want to bait fish for them, you control for them. You can cast lures to them. Most of the areas I've been hearing about, the mouth of the Chester, um, down towards the mouth of Eastern Bay, have all been really productive over the past few weeks. If you're doing a lot of bait fishing, some of the good areas are going to be most of those structure spots, like the lighthouses, like Thomas Point Light, mm -hmm. um, Love Point Lights, or fishing up towards the bridge has been really good over the past few weeks. Whether you're live line and spot or fishing like cut soft crab is always a good bet if you can't get a hold of those uh, live spot. Most of the spot though have really started to show up. I know we're catching yeah, some out definitely. there towards yeah. Padickery, towards the mouth of a lot of those rivers on some hard bottom, 10 to 20 feet of water. Yeah, definitely. I was just catching, I mean, I probably caught 50 spot within two hours right at Padickery Point. Uh, really easy, drop down a saviki with some blood worm or lug worm, whatever else, and uh, you can get on them for sure. So catch your own live bait or get it here, what have you, and then, you know, go live line, like you said, the bridge, the knolls, lighthouses, love point. All work great. Um, yeah, the fish are, are really good. And those resident fish from those 18 to 25 inch fish, we've seen quite a few of those. Mm -hmm. um, as far as catfish goes, they're still pretty do doing pretty well out those rivers. Um, yeah. A little bit deeper I've seen, 25 feet, 30 feet. It seems like they like that cooler water once it starts to get warm up on top. So yeah, they're especially starting to, the big ones. Yeah. Um, most of what you're going to use for there is cut bunker. Uh, I know some guys are using cut spot and mullet as well. There's a lot of different baits you can use for catfish. So really good fishing on that part too. I know you've been doing some perch fishing in the river. So how's that going? Yeah, the perch fishing is good. Um, perch fishing, uh, much like the rockfish, you can really do a lot of things. You can um, drop down on hard bottom with some soft crab or grass shrimp or something like that. Um, or you can go up shallow. I mean, I've been catching them like two, three, four feet sometimes off of uh, either piers or rocks or any sort of structure up in the creeks with either your classic perch pounder or a small little paddle tail works really well um, up in there. But Yeah, so other than that, um, down towards the ocean, I know fishing's been pretty good. Really good. Yeah, a lot of tuna coming in for sure. It is tuna season full swing right now. I mean, big eyes, yellow fins, big time. Um, your offshore trolling is really good right now. Hopefully that continues. What kind of stuff are they trolling earlier in the season? I know we do a lot of artificial early. Yeah, yeah, year. certainly a lot of artificial. Uh, when I was down there earlier this month, we were trolling a lot of wide trackers, spreader bars, daisy chains, uh, uh, Nomad DTX minnows are a huge one uh, that work really well. I always run those along with the wide trackers. Um, so yeah, yeah a, lot of, a lot of artificial squid and stuff. like. Yeah, that. a lot of big schooling is what we're trying to do. Um, we don't really have a shot at a white marlin, so we're going to um, basically completely dedicate that spread yeah. to having a lot of different baits in the water. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's warming up quick, so that white marlin's right around the corner. I know sure, it. It's shortly, but not, not quite not here quite yet. yet. Um, other than that, I know some of the bottom fishing has been a little tough, but there certainly are some out there. Yeah. Um, most of your, your inshore reefs, as we call it, those sub 20 mile out reefs, stuff like that. Do yeah. great there whether you want to bottom fish bait like clams or squid or if yeah. you want to jig some bucktails or some other jigs for those sea bass and flounder. Yeah, they are certainly holding offshore. I know the back bays hasn't heated up completely yet. There were a couple people that really know what they're doing that were getting on them. But bluefish have been in Ocean City pretty thick lately, um, whether that be the Route 50 bridge, the inlet, uh, two really hot spots for bluefish right now. Throw in like gotcha plugs or... Um, any sort of deep dive in the Missouri or anything like that off the bridge. On the other side of things, snakehead fishing. Um, I've heard it's been a little bit tough this year, mostly, but especially the past couple of weeks, I think that's mostly dedicated to the, the crazy amount of pressure these fish are seeing. Yeah. Um, I've actually heard of a few more caught on the west side than we typically see. The west side yeah. fish seem to be a, a little trickier to uh, trick for sure. However, it's been a little bit better. I know some of the folks in the Magathy have been catching some up in the creek, stuff like that. Yeah. As far as your typical spots on the eastern shore, whether that be at the Blackwater Refuge, the rivers that come off, the Transquake and the Chickamacomico, all areas like that are great. Um, if you can find a day that might be a little cloudy and there's not 50 people out there in kayaks, you'll probably do a little bit better. Yeah. Um, a lot of guys are starting to move into the summertime baits, a little bit more aggressive stuff, um, some bigger, heavier chatter baits, things that make a little bit more noise. But you can't forget about a classic paddle tail. It's always a good bet for yep. snakehead. Yeah, paddle tail on a weedless with an underspin. Yeah, yeah they Any, work great. Anything like that. Uh, smaller MEPs, a number three. A lot of people think that's really small, but really, 
there's not much big bait they're going after, so yeah, it's really little, good. Little shiners. In representation there. of what they're eating. Yeah. So what about crabbing, Sammy? Uh, crabbing is starting to get there. It's still not great. Um, I know a lot of the crab potters out on the main part of the bay have had a really good start to the season. However, that really hasn't trickled into the rivers in great numbers yet. Typically, once we pass Memorial Day, everything starts to heat up. So yeah. that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Right now through uh, June, we usually have the first big big uh, numbers of crabs. Guys are running trot lines now. The crabs are holding on a little bit longer there. So you can get away with the trot line opposed to the traps. So something to look forward to, but it's not quite in full swing yet. Yeah, yeah. I did see a couple of a couple of guys in the Magathy did come up with a bushel um, in my area. So it's it's definitely definitely heating up. Like you said, after Memorial Day, it just gets better. Yeah. All right. I think that just about wraps it up. We thank you guys for stopping by, and good luck out there.